Welcome everyone to Designing Adobe XD. I'm Talon Wadsworth, I'm your host. I'm also the lead designer of Adobe XD. And uh, today we're doing something different yet again. Here we, on, here we are with our, our, in the new year with our new month of uh, shaking up the content a little bit. Uh, so here we are, we're gonna be doing something new today. I'll get to that in a second. But let's uh, let's say hi to everybody who's joined us in the chat, and I see some of uh, some some uh, some usual names, some of the usual suspects already. Uh, what's going on, everybody? There on Behance. Oh, actually, a note to all you who may be catching me on YouTube. Come over to Behance and say hi. Um, it's, it's more fun that way. What's going on, Gustavo, Munir, Agnes, Daniel? How are you? Good to see you guys here today. How's it going? Where, wherever you are in the world, how are things doing? Going? You guys, you guys making cool stuff? Uh, you've been making cool stuff in XD. Of course, I love seeing it. You can always, uh, I lo always love seeing your work, um, whether it's in XD or not. Uh, shoot me a note at Mr. Talon on Twitter, or you can hit me up on Behance. So I'm always, always excited to see the, the the great work you guys are doing. What's up, Clarence? How you doing? What's going on today? You guys, uh, you guys having a chill Friday? We're gonna have a chill Friday here. This is, you know, uh, this is today. What we're gonna do? We're gonna keep it like nice and nice and low key. Um, I'm gonna be doing what I love doing, of course, which is actually like designing with Adobe XD, designing in Adobe XD. And today I'm actually not gonna be designing a new feature or anything like that, any of my day job. I'm gonna take a break from that. And today we're actually gonna be de do designing uh, based on you know, being inspired by the daily creative challenge. Are you guys, you guys in on that? You guys uh, been doing that, been following along. So today we're gonna be taking, I think this is day four, day four of the creative challenge. And we're gonna be designing a, an app from that challenge. So we're gonna be doing that today. Uh, what's going on everyone else who showed up here? Kishore, good, great to see you. John, Anel, how are you? Always great to, to see you pop up in the chat. Chris, what's up? Chris, don't make uncool stuff, man. Life's too short for that. <laughs> what's up, Paul, how are you doing? Uh, Danny, Clarence, Chris, give yourself some credit, man. Anything you do is cool. You're just gotta, you gotta that's, that's just gotta be your mindset. You gotta have positive mental attitude. <laughs> right, it's key, it's key, man. You gotta believe in yourself, believe in yourself. That, that's that's key. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, what's going on, we got a question here. Of course, I love answering questions. Clarence, do graphic designers use XD? Well, yeah, if you're the kind of graphic designer that might need to uh, communicate your ideas uh, to a client, uh, maybe use XD to maybe do a presentation, maybe you need to create a web design, maybe you need to create a, a mobile app design. It works, we got vector tools, we got drawing. You can make some really great stuff. Um, yeah, some good stuff. Um, Diana, how's it going? Lou, Antonio, Claire. Look at all these people just popping up. I love seeing that. Um, if you guys, of course, have any questions while we're, we're so we're gonna be designing, uh, taking the daily creative challenge today. So if you guys wanna go get in on that, uh, go check out the link there in the chat to the creative challenge. Go download the template and design along with me. And of course, if you guys have any questions about XD, about design, you know, whatever, you know, let me know. We'll answer it. So we're gonna keep it pretty chill today. Um, so I said, I'm gonna be walking you through, like if you've never used XD before, might learn something new. If you have been using XD, uh, maybe again, maybe I'll uh, show you something that you haven't seen before as well. Um, you know, so uh, yeah, let's just, let's just dive into it. So today we are going to be taking the Daily Creative Challenge. And I don't know if you guys know about this program. This is really cool. So you know, here at Adobe, we do these weekly creative challenges and every day there's a new challenge and it really kind of helps you um, kind of learn some of the basics of uh, some of the programs, but also some basics of designing, maybe a mobile app, maybe you've never done that before. Uh, and you get access to, uh, we have a Slack channel where you can chat with other creatives, also taking the creative challenge. And you also get access to really cool template files to get you going. Um, this is a great way, of course, as your uh, as an interaction designer in particular, to kind of get your ideas up and off the ground. Um, and here, this, this kit's really handy. It outlines what we're gonna be doing today. So today our challenge is going to be designing a prototype for a color by number app. That's pretty cool. Um, and, and so we have to define how it'd be an easy way to, uh, for someone to interact with a kind of color by number um, uh, design. Right? I feel like I'm making an app for my kids right now, but maybe, maybe something we can do that maybe, uh, maybe adults might enjoy as well. 
It could be fun. Um, so today, and we're also gonna be kind of challenging ourselves to push a little further. Again, what's really cool about the creative challenges is they also kind of increase the difficulty level kind of as you go. And so today in particular, we're gonna focus on things like auto animate. We're gonna talk about symbols, global colors, and then uh, share uh, uh, our prototypes on Behance. Because again, at the end of the day, the goal is to for you to get some experience, kind of get your feet wet in the apps. Um, and then of course, post your project to Behance so you can start sharing it from the, with the community and get, and get feedback. So pretty exciting. Um, got some new names sort of showing up uh, here. Um, Chris, Chris, Chris and Clarence. Claire, Paul, how's it going? Um, yeah, go check out Sam's work on Twitter. The guy's doing amazing stuff with Auto Animate. Um, Sam, Sam's been our intern for a while. That guy, he, he knows what he's doing. All right, so today let's go. Let's go kind of dig around a little more in this uh, in this great sort of starter sort of file. Again, I feel like, man, don't be intimidated by these creative challenges. Like, such great resources here. So here um, gives us some links to some additional resources. So if we want to go and of course use some plugins, some access to some great plugins that you can go and and get access to. Um, of course, some more UI kits. Uh, so there's a lot of handy stuff in there. So definitely dig around if you go check it out. Oh my goodness, Zilla has shown up. Mr. Robert Generetti III has shown up. Zilla, man, I love it when you drop in on the streams. I, I, I just want you to like, you just need to drop in for real. Then I, that's, I, we gotta make that happen, man. You gotta come and join me on the stream next time you're in town. Uh, what's going on, everybody? You guys, Zilla is in the house. Go check out his work. Dude is a monster. All right, so here we go. Uh, today we are designing, actually, Oh man, Zilla, I wish I had a, some of your vector artwork right now. I wanna do a color by uh, number Zilla app. Oh, I gotta go do that. All right, sorry. I gotta go, we're gonna go check out Zilla's work right now because I've gotta grab uh, one, of his, <laughs> one of his pieces and we're gonna do color by number uh, Zilla app. He's got some really amazing work here. And I'm going to, I think I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna grab this LeBron one. And I'm gonna, oh look, I can even use maybe one of these earlier versions. All right. Dude, we're gonna do this. Okay, all right, here we go. So we're gonna make a color by number app today. Um, and it's gonna, we're gonna build some fun interactions in there. Um, kind of design kind of the UX flow. Again, like inside the file, we've got some really great resources uh, as well. We give you some some styles to start with and some UI elements. And look at this, this handy little user flow chart. Hmm, look at that. Gives us the basics of what, uh, it's already done like the hard work for us. This is our app. Now we've got to just go fill in the blank. Just like the, of course, like uh, it's very meta. We're doing a very, you know, we're doing, you know, paint by number and then we're doing also UX design by number as well. Should be fun, all right. So one of the things I like to do, of course, uh, one of my favorite features in XD, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm paying attention to there's some, some good stuff going on in there. Dude, I don't know if you guys know this, but Zilla uses, uh, he actually draws on his phone with, uh, or used to, that's where he got his start with, um, with Adobe Line back in the day. And now he uses Adobe Sketch for the iPad as well as, I think it's still lying, but you should ask him. Um, so one of the things, my favorite my favorite feature here is the assets panel. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the concept of kind of global colors or global styles or reusable elements. Again, these are things where, let's say I'm gonna be using uh, this green and I'm gonna go and through my work as a UX designer, I'm gonna use that green kind of in all of my screens. Maybe it's my brand color, maybe it's the color that, again, I'm gonna use as, as part of my, like maybe some of the call to action buttons, again, some of those the sort of primary things I wanna draw people's attention to. And what's really handy here is if I can uh, open up the assets panel, which is down here on the left, there's a little drawer. And when I open it up, I have this panel just sort of waiting to be populated with all kinds of, do all kinds of cool things for you and your work. So I have this color, so this, this uh, object selected here with this grain, and I'm going to add it to the assets panel. And then what that allows me to do is as I go about my design, so I really love this green, maybe this green is our primary color, and I have some of the UI elements that I'm gonna start building my app with, I can actually now apply that green by selecting the object and actually, you know, clicking on the color. So I'm gonna go and update all of these. 
And now once I've done that, what's really cool, again, if I'm sort of thinking ahead and I'm thinking this is gonna be, you know, I'm gonna have a lot of screens, I'm gonna have a lot of UI elements, and it would be a real pain if I had to, if I changed my mind later and said, actually, I don't like that green, maybe I like that purple. Like it would really, it wouldn't be fun to actually have to go and find all those individual objects and change all those colors manually. Instead, what I can do is actually, now I see it, I actually like that purple a little more, maybe a little more contrast. I can actually just now go and actually edit the global color in the assets panel. And that will then update everything I've applied that color to. Super handy. And we're gonna be doing a lot of that today because it's one of my favorite features. It's kind of one of the one of the focuses of our creative project today. So I'm gonna start by just sort of taking those colors and actually adding them all to the asset panel. So I really handy. I can also do that in bulk by just selecting all of those. And actually I'm gonna use this modern one. I'm just gonna bam, just put those right in there. And now I'm that's gonna sort of form the basis of my style of my application. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna start there. Of course, I'll also do some of these, these typefaces as well. Um, so, all right, so uh, Anel, I hope you have a nice uh, trip there. I think, um, have a good afternoon. Um, come back and love to see if you check, take the challenge, what you're doing, so. Um, yeah, Zilla's in there talking about the, the early days of XD, the Project Comet days. Those were good days, man. Um, that, that was our original code name when we started. Well, actually it wasn't the original original. Uh, maybe some of you on the chat who turned in before know what the original project name was. Um, you know, maybe we're, we'll keep it a secret for now. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Um, I'm gonna be reusing again. I, I you know, as, as you kind of become more experienced as a designer, again, when you're designing a website or a mobile application, um, right, you're really working with systems, right? The, you know, a good user experience has consistent style um, and appearances and maybe even interactions that are used kind of throughout the app. And that really helps the user um, kind of understand both kind of what app they're in. Again, it brands the app. It kind of gives it a, a flavor um, or a personality. You can do that as well. And then it kind of helps them navigate, right? It kind of, uh, things like um, type style, in particular character style, can actually help me understand, you know, what is most important and what is supporting, right? What is the headline? What is the subhead? What is the body copy, right? And I, when I, whatever page I'm using those on, I want those all to be the same. It might be weird if I go from one page where the headline is bigger than it might be on another page, right? I'm really, uh, the more you sort of progress in your career as a UX designer, the more you start thinking ahead and kind of building those systems as you go. So I'm gonna start, um, again, I've sort of added my global colors and I'm also gonna start sort of adding some of these character styles. But before I do, I'm actually gonna start even here, actually kind of, uh, kind of branding them as well. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these here and I'm gonna actually just style them. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to then add them to the asset panel as well. Again, the same rules apply here. Anytime I change them, anywhere I use them, that will then I make a change, it'll change, it'll update everywhere I've used them. So I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna hit the plus button here. Now I've got some character styles, so I've got my global colors, these are the themes of my app. I've also the sort of branded theme of my app, and I've got these character styles, and we're gonna get going there. So, all right. So like I said here, we've got this really handy dandy flowchart. And uh, you know, when you come into an app like, um, Again, like like this is a this is a this is a creative app. This is a creative tool app in a way. Um, very simplified one, but still you know fun experience. I can get in. I can make something that looks really good, and then maybe I can share it. Uh, so here we're going to start uh, with this UX flow. Like maybe you come in and you have a library. And you see a gallery. Maybe you see all the ones that you've done before. Um, and then you know, maybe new ones that, maybe new, maybe new templates, new or blank canvases that you're gonna go start and, and color as well. And then um, from there, you're gonna come to a, um, maybe a decision point where, you know, if you tap on one of those, uh, one of those uh, thumbnails, then we're maybe in going into actually coloring them. Um, and then from there, of course, you're tapping like on that screen itself and you're recoloring the image. So we're gonna lay out that flow using some artboards really quick. So I'm gonna grab the artboard tool here in the toolbar, and I'm gonna design this for, I'm gonna design it for the, the X, because I have the iPhone X, and of course I wanna preview this on my phone at some point in the future. 
So I'm gonna click there to add an iPhone X artboard here on my canvas. And let's see, we're gonna have this one be, this is gonna be the library screen. And one of the handy things about starting with um, something like a UI kit is again, it sort of gives you some of those basic components you can get up and going with very quickly rather than having to redraw them yourself. And a lot of UX designers do this, again, to kind of get that initial flow of their application down and kind of test the experience. And then they'll go in later and start adding more details and customizing as they go. So I'm gonna grab, um, this is gonna be our gallery. So I'm just gonna copy some of these elements from the gallery and paste them onto my iPhone artboard here. So here we are, um, this is gallery. I'm actually gonna use one of these headline types. I want something a little bolder with my color. So I'm actually going to reapply a style of the, of the sort of like, um, sort of head, header style that I've added to my um, assets panel over here. And I'm gonna apply it there. And now I have this thumbnail. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna just have it stay as a gray box. We know that's an image. And here I'm gonna to lay out our grid of thumbnails of, of maybe images that I can go in and actually start to color. I'm gonna use the repeat grid. Of course, my favorite feature and actually one of the first features I ever designed for Adobe XD. Um, and I'm going to convert this, having that uh, object selected, I'm gonna convert it to a repeat grid. And now I can go and drag out these handles like so. And look at that, I've got my scrollable gallery of paint by number images. Interactive art pieces, we'll call them. <laughs> so there we go. All right, okay. And of course, we are going to use Zilla <laughs> as one of our coloring pages. He was a contributing artist, maybe, to this. And I'm gonna just drag this in for placeholder right now into the repeat grid. And we'll go in and we'll replace these later. So I just drag and dropped that image in there. King James. I wasn't looking too happy on the sidelines last night if anybody caught that game. Lakers lost. Mm hmm All right. So we're gonna have that there. That's gonna be our placeholder for now. Um, we'll start, we're gonna start building out the rest of our flow here. Uh, so here we have, this is gonna be maybe the first screen I have when I come in and maybe we have you know, we don't have like we don't have a fair number of images here. So I'm also also gonna drag down the boundaries of this artboard to have this be a longer scroll. So we have we have a fair number of, of images available. Um, we also want to have some more global elements here, I think, as well. We want to have I'm gonna grab this title bar. Because again, you want to know, you want to brand your app, brand that experience. So I'm gonna copy that that component over and I'm gonna drag that here and place that here. Again, good UX is about navigation in a lot of ways, um, right? How can I help a user figure out where they are and help them get to where they wanna go? Dude, that Wizards-Warriors game, it was close. Um, looks like the, the Warriors were a little gassed early on, but, uh, and dude, Wall being out, I, that's crazy. I didn't know he was out until uh, until yesterday reading some of the pregame stuff, so. Uh, yeah, that's a that is that is he, is he out for the season, Zilla? That'd be horrible if he is. That'd be really decimating to that team. So I'm also here. I'm also recoloring some of these global elements to use my my uh, my sort of branded colors that I've decided on my sort of theme. So I'm just applying those global colors. And again, what's really handy is I'll go back and if I want to change that at any time, it's one click edit and it just edits everywhere I've used them. Great. So there we go. Okay, we've got that there. Now what's cool here is I'm always sort of testing in this experience out. Um, I go here to the preview window and I can either keep this up, sometimes I keep this up and I wanna be previewing this in real time. Here I can already start, start sort of previewing some of those interactions like the scroll. Um, of course, we're gonna go add some more detail to this as we go. I'm also gonna add a little background here. I think I'm gonna use, maybe I'm gonna use one of these colors as well for our background. Maybe. So I've selected my artboard and I've applied a background there. We'll go in and tweak King James here in a second. Oh, dude, I can't believe he's out for the season. That makes it rough for them. Ah, uh, they were fun to watch. I watched some of their early games. They were, they were, they were fun to watch. 
dude. Man, Curry, Curry is, Munir is right. Curry is a difference. This team would not be the same here if it was not for Curry. Okay, so now I've got my gallery and then I'm gonna wanna, I'm gonna click on um, King James and that's gonna take me to the page where I can start editing and actually start coloring my image. So I'm gonna make another artboard right next to there. Do another iPhone, right? And I'm actually gonna put a little drop shadow on this one too, just so we can see what's going on over here. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. That'll worry, that's fine. All right, so now here, once I've tapped on it, I'm gonna be, I think I have a couple decisions to make. Um, of course, I wanna keep some navigation because I wanna be able to go back to the gallery. That's gonna be a key element here. So let me go see if there's actually something like that. Well, actually what I'll do is I'll probably copy over this bar and I will run the King James section here. I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna make a back button real quick. Again, I always want the user to kind of know kind of where they are and where and help them get to where they wanna go. So I wanna make sure they know how they can get back at any time. Cause it's like, well, you know, maybe this one's cool, but maybe I'll go try a different one. So I'm gonna add a little back button here. All right. Oh man, I still love seeing end caps in here. If any of the XD team is watching, like again, like XD has been, of course been like adding new features like crazy. And I still like, like uh, I got used to using XD back in like the early, early days when there was nothing. And it's still just, so fun to see all these features because I sometimes kind of forget they're there. So man, if any of the XD teams watching today, you guys are amazing. All right, so we're gonna do this here. All right. So you guys designing alongside? Anybody else, anybody taking the challenge with me today? Um, I'm going to come in here and I'm gonna copy this image of, of Braun here and I'm gonna blow it up. A little bit. I just love your style, Zilla. This is this. I like this on its own. Like, just do like some prints with just like the sketchy style. I love that. Oh yeah, that uh, little uh, shortcut bar on the side is this app that I love called Yoink. Um, I feel like I've had it installed like forever, and it's like this little drawer that like lives at like in your, like in the Mac OS and I can drag and drop from like anywhere like into it. And it, they just sort of keeps it there until I drag it out, you know, wherever I'm gonna use it into any program. It's not really like, a, it's not a creative cloud thing. It's just one of those cool like uh, developers. I, I love this application. You guys should go check it out. Support that developer. The developer is really awesome. Hey, Amit, thanks for joining us. Today, we are taking the, the daily creative challenge. If you wanna come in and, and design along with us, um, we are using some of the amazing Robzilla artwork here to design our color by numbers app. Um, so here we go, I've got, um, so when I tap on that thumbnail, it's gonna take me to this screen. Let's actually go wire that up because here we, uh, we're, we're, getting, we're getting down to it today. So, to, so now that I've got kind of the, again, the core of some of these screens of this experience, if I, at any time, and this is, I think this is the real power of XD and really why we wanted to go back and go back to why we wanted to build a tool like XD is that I want to start prototyping like the minute I get up and going in my design. I don't want to wait till later on to go prototype them in another application. I want to start to sort of be problem solving at that UX level, like the minute I start designing and that helps me accelerate my work and really helps me test and validate that in real time rather than having to do the design in one app and do the prototyping in another. So I'm gonna hop over to prototype mode and I'm going to select that first thumbnail and I'm just simply going to take the little little icon that's now appeared on that, on that, uh, on that thumbnail there and I'm just gonna drag and drop it directly onto the next screen. And that's gonna be good. We're just gonna have a transition and I'm gonna have this sort of slide to the left. And actually now we can actually go and actually preview that immediately. Let's go check it out. There we go. And we can even wire it back up. Again, make sure people, the, the user can get back to where they were. And I'm gonna slide right. And that stays live in the preview window. 
Looking good, man. Looking good. So. Yeah, all right. I think it's a little darker. We need a little contrast there. That's better. That's better, which means I need to change that. Boom, there it is. See, look how easy that was. Now that I have, that's why I love the assets panel. It's just so easy for me to go and just swap these out and try new ideas. Easy, yep. All right, so now we're going to have a little, I wanted to do really quick and we're gonna jump ahead a little bit, but I wanted to, I had this idea for how I wanted the, um, the colors to fill the spaces. So, you know, normally it's, it's really handy to start with a vector, a piece of artwork. Uh, but here I've sort of went, you know, because Zilla showed up, we went and grabbed one of his uh, drawings. So I'm actually gonna draw a quick vector shape, sort of trace his drawing and use it as a mask. And we're gonna do, of course, you know, uh, brothers and beards, me and Braun and Zilla. Zilla has an epic beard, by the way. Um, of course, we're gonna, we're gonna color his beard first. So I'm gonna quickly just sort of rough out a shape here on top of Zilla's fine artwork and just kind of trace that beard real quick because we're gonna do something cool with it. There we go. Because this is a color by numbers application, remember. We've got the pen tool ninja coming in here. Flexing those, those vector skills. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna make that a little bolder because you know, remember back in the day, those coloring books, color by number, they were definitely like, you know, big, thick, chunky style. So I'm gonna beef that up a little bit. And just for demonstration purposes, we're gonna dim down Zilla's work just a little bit here. You can still see it. Okay, then I'm gonna put a number one here. Because that that's the number one color. So what I wanna do is of course, when I tap on it, I want the color to like, you know, magically sort of like pop on. And I'm gonna show you one of my favorite tricks with using auto animate. Uh, so you can, I don't know if you guys know about auto animate, but auto animate helps you actually like animate your UI components or your illustrations from one artboard to another. And it's super, ha super handy. And you can do really cool things if you start using, um, you know, things like masks and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do, so this is a, this is a, you know, this is, there's no fill in this now, but I'm actually gonna animate it being filled up with a color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna duplicate that artboard, all right? So this is where I want the user to start, and then when they tap on the beard, I want the beard to fill in with a color. So now in the other one, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to make a circle. It's gonna, so bear with me. I'm gonna make a circle real quick. And then I'm gonna use a color. I'm gonna maybe do uh, that late that Laker purple, you know, that royal, that royal purple here. You know, this would be like a like a Laker themed beard. All right. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put this in a mask. So I'm going to copy the beard and I'm going to mask it by using. I just did the keyboard command to mask with shape. Right. And I'm going to change that to there and paste that on top of there. All right. So I actually got a little ahead of myself. I'm actually gonna duplicate. Now that I have, this is the filled in version, right? I have the purple inside the mask. So I'm gonna duplicate this back. And now on the first state, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna take inside my mask and just shrink my circle down. Maybe it sort of radiates. What I wanted to do is I want it to, I imagined it kind of radiating out from the, from the number. So I'm gonna scale it down a little bit like that and I'm gonna turn off its opacity. Again, because with auto animate, what you're doing is you're gonna animate from one artboard state to another. And I'm gonna, and so it will actually animate anything that changes. It'll just magically animate for you once you set it up right. So I'm gonna apply this color here. So now when I tap on his beard, what I want to have happen is it to animate to the next state. So I'm gonna select his beard. I'm gonna hop over to prototype mode. I'm going to wire that interaction up. I'm gonna choose auto animate. And I'm gonna say ease in. Actually, I'm gonna give this a little fun, a little fun bounce. Let's let's check this out. All right, this is gonna be really cool. You guys ready? Okay, let's go preview this. Let's go back to the preview window. And now, when I tap on the beard, it's going to magically fill in. Let's let's cover this up here. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Boom! Oh, it was a little fast. Let's slow that down. Go back here. What's cool is you can keep that preview window up. You can tweak with your settings here. I'm gonna go a little longer. 
Ooh. <laughs> that is awesome. So you can see, we can imagine like building that up over time and now we have all our fun little auto animates uh, sort of happening out little animations as people fill in. Very delightful experience. Yeah, very cool. Um, so we're, it's a little shorter stream today, but I just wanted to sort of uh, thank you guys all for taking the creative challenge with me today. Thanks for dropping by. Zilla, Chris, Anel, Munir, Tehran, Eric. It's great to see you guys in the chat. Uh, we're gonna keep trying new stuff. So if you guys have any suggestions of content you wanna see me cover, let me know on Twitter at Mr. Talon, and uh, I will be back next week to chat with you all again. See ya.